Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope everything in your world is good. I'm suffering a bit right now. I don't know if it's obvious, but this light is really bothering me. Uh, but if I shut it off, it's not good. So it's staying on. I'm going to power through this. Um, today, as a matter of... I don't know. I don't know what it was. I decided not to take the ginger root. I took it this morning uh, with my morning pills, and then I haven't taken it since. And I'm paying for it right now very badly. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, again, currently I would view this all as anecdotal, psychosomatic BS uh, until I've been able to really spend some time understanding if this is having an effect on these headaches. Um, the headache I'm feeling right now is, again, you know, right across my brow, right underneath, well, kind of inside my eye. Makes my nose water, makes the lights hurt, makes my eye water, makes my eyelid kind of a little saggy. I mean, it's a weird feeling. I can't explain it. It's not like a headache where you feel like your brain hurts. It's a headache that's just in, like, I don't know. So, uh, I didn't take this today. I, I took it this morning and then not for the rest of the day. And for the last two days, I've taken it morning, uh, afternoon, and evening. And I've been pretty okay. The headache has felt like it's still been there. It, it comes and goes. I don't know how to explain that. It, 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 the intensity is almost like a throbbing, but the throbbing can take hours. Like it'll be on strong for an hour and a half and then off. And then, but when it's off, it's still kind of there. There's like tension. I can feel it. So I don't know what's up. I don't know if this is actually having any effect at all, or maybe it's just my habits throughout the day that have caused this. Uh, we'll see. Today was the last day of work before Thanksgiving break. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving here in America, and then Friday uh, we have off. It's kind of just a government holiday. Uh, and the good news is I have Keely. Um, she's here tonight. I'll have her tomorrow and Friday. And... Uh, it's strange because I, I normally, I don't get to have her very much on the weekends because Jamie's work schedule, I keep her during Jamie's work days. So uh, that's usually weekdays for her. So I usually only get Keely for a few hours a day, but I'll have her for two straight days. And it's going to be interesting. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving and I'm a bit confused about it um, just because, you know, Keely has her family that... Um, definitely don't want to take her away from and I would like to have dinner with them so I'm going to uh, Jamie's not going to be there so that helps um, so I'm going to go have family dinner uh, with my I guess my old family or you know whatever and uh, and then I'm going to have family with or have dinner with my aunt inviting me over in the evening so I don't know if Keely will go with me, if she'll want to, or if Alina will go with me. I'm not, I'm not sure if either of them will want to or if they'll want to stay uh, at their aunt's house while I go to dinner. And I'll come back and get them later. I'm not sure, but it's going to be a weird day. And, and I've had so many people invite me to holidays and stuff. Okay, you can go to my family's thing. And it's like, I don't... This isn't a special day for me. Thanksgiving has never been a day I've looked forward to, like, my entire life. To me, it's just a day... And people make food that's okay, and we eat. And but but grown ups make this big deal out of it, like oh, it's got to be this day long event. And I'm like, can we just have dinner? And I'll go back to doing you know reading my book or playing my video, whatever. Like I don't want to hang out with people. Like I don't know. It's not a holiday to me. It's not something special to me. It's in fact, it's kind of an um, kind of just gets in the way. It's just it's a day that isn't special to me at all it means nothing to me so i get when people are like oh you don't want to be alone for the holidays and i'm like yeah i kind of do because i don't consider this a holiday <laughs> you know to me holidays is like christmas new year's that's it i really don't have any other holidays that have any special meaning to me the rest of them are just kind of like uh, just annoyances they're just 
weird days that people tend to make into something. But we'll do it. We'll enjoy it. Have a couple of dinners. And then Friday, I don't know what we're going to do. But the whole day. So hopefully hopefully something will happen. And then, uh, and then she'll go back to her mom. And I'll be alone for the rest of the weekend. So i going to try and get some stuff done around here, I think. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Looking forward to spending some time with her. Uh, maybe playing some video games or something together. We haven't really done much together in a while. She's asleep right now. <laughs> she just fell asleep on me. Uh, and I, that hasn't happened in a very long time. I thought those years are over of me getting to hold her while she slept. But I got to do that for a little bit. And that felt really good. So... I'm going to go back upstairs and try to edit this video while squinting because uh, looking at the monitor hurts. <laughs> but um, hopefully, you know, hopefully I'll be able to sleep. So thank you for being here. As always, thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. Um, I will do a video tomorrow. If you don't check on it, that's fine. Uh, come back Friday. But I hope I see you tomorrow. I'll be here. Hope you'll be here. If not, have a great Thanksgiving. Taser, in fact, comes from case.edu. Who was the first woman to graduate from college? Elizabeth Blackwell was the first woman to receive a medical degree from a regular American medical school, Geneva Medical College. Nancy Elizabeth Talbot Clark was the first woman to graduate from Western Reserve's nine-year-old medical school.